Jonathan Williams recorded in his book Legions of Satan, written in 1781, that General Cornwallis revealed to General Washington that a holy war will now begin on America. And when it is ended, America will supposedly be the citadel of freedom, but her millions will unknowingly be the loyal subjects of the crown. Cornwallis went on to explain what would seem to be a self-contradiction, and he said this, quote, Your churches will be used to teach the Jews' religion, and in less than 200 years, the whole nation will be working for divine world government. That government that they believe to be divine will be the British Empire. All religions will be permeated with Judaism without even being noticed by the masses, and they will all be under the invisible all-seeing eye of the grand architect of Freemasonry. And indeed, George Washington himself, ladies and gentlemen, was a Freemason, and he gave back through false religion what he had won with his army. This divine world government that Cornwallis spoke of was the religion of the New World Order. Now, the Jewish religion that Cornwallis was talking about is not the religion that most Jews in this world practice, but a new secular humanistic view that came out of the lodge of the mysteries promoted under international Zionism and the concept of British Israelism. It is the tenet that the Anglo-Aryan race are the true Israelites and because of that their royal family being descended from the house of David in a direct line and a relationship to Jesus Christ himself have the divine right to rule. One of the myths that are propounded, and you will see more and more of it, is that Jesus did not die on the cross, but entered into a sexual relationship which may have included marriage with Mary of Magdalene and founded the Merovingian bloodline of kings which began the European dynasties. And this is passed on in secret from father to son and mother to daughter even unto this day. Prince William has been inducted into an ancient order of British knights in a ceremony at Windsor Castle. He's now a Knight of the Garter, all part of his steady elevation in rank as second in line to the throne. This was a royal coming of age for the young man who will one day be king. Well, Prince William is walking slightly ahead of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. They are bringing up the rear of that procession there. Prince William emerging for the very first time in his garter robes, having been invested at midday today as the 1,000th Knight of the Garter. It's, it's a bizarre sight, really, isn't it? But also, she was about to go into campaigning on the behalf of Palestinians. Now, you can imagine someone of Princess Diana's profile doing that. It just They would not have tolerated it. They could not have done, dealt with that. So I think that's why she was taken out. By serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose. The illumination of a thousand points of light. I mean, this is what men have dreamed about for the ages, bringing the world together as one united in, as one in peace so that we can have prosperity and happiness and joy and that is precisely what this hidden covenant is all about it's about that message and we're all going to become israel we all become spiritual jews the whole world and yet we see all of this hatred against the jews today but we're all going to become spiritual jews everybody that's obedient to god I wonder what is behind that anti-jew hostility
different kind of conflict against a different kind of enemy. And in Copenhagen, Denmark, is Nick Pope. For 21 years, Nick was a government official for the British Ministry of Defense. From 91 to 94, he ran the British government's UFO project at the Ministry of Defense, where he researched and investigated the UFO phenomenon for the British government. Do you believe there is extraterrestrial life? Okay, well, we're going over the Drake Equation, a simple formula designed to estimate the number of intelligent civilizations in the universe that are trying to get in touch. That are trying to get in touch. That are trying to get in touch. Christian crop the United States. You don't really expect them to leave the witches of that organized. No, they've just got senators and congressmen and top witches down there all in one convention. They're not organized. Not at all. Are you afraid of dying? Not at all. Or are you afraid to live? Sorry, that's really not an area that I can get into a sort of public discussion on. You know, the, the, the whole nuclear issue is, is just so sensitive that's that's not something i can discuss publicly or is it both supremacy this was the fiery first of the atomic bomb culmination of centuries of step-by-step -step advance in the scientific quest achievement of intense international effort by the democratic allies products of unremitting research and toil since 1939 this instant of fury and flame and of violence beyond conception sounded the end of an age and heralded a new era in the destiny of mankind, a new relationship of man to his universe. To his universe.